you know, at one point I wanted to kill myself because I just thought, what's the point of living like this? You know, even a, a slight shake of your hand, it seems so much, you know, when, you, when you've got depression. You know, your mind gets down there, down there, down there, and it's hard to get back up. It just takes so long. So that was back in 2008? Yeah. What's your journey with Parkinson's been like? Well, for the first, first five years, it was bad because I didn't have any of the information, so really I just took my pills and ignored it. I drank a lot, I spent a lot of money. I was kind of out of control for a while. That's what I did, it's not the right thing to do, <laughs> by the way. Then I met my husband, Chris, and he was amazing. I decided I was gonna be a bit more positive about my, my illness, try and do something about it. Where it was the launch of the Parkinson's, first Parkinson's cafe in the Rhonda. And uh, it was amazing. Met other people with Parkinson's, met really, really nice people. And it's gone from naught to 100 miles an hour. I think it's given me me. Where before I didn't really have anything. Uh, I left work, I didn't have a job. And when you come here, you see all these people. It's amazing. You help so many people, you help yourself. You're giving something back. I hated Parkinson's with a vengeance. I hated it so much. It's okay to feel that you, that you hate it sometimes, but it doesn't have to be a war constantly. Um, my volunteer work is really, really important. It, it keeps me going, it keeps me healthy, I think, it keeps me happy. When you're in a good place, it's a lot easier to, to manage your illness. Life's not too bad. So how long was it between your diagnosis and telling her, do you think? Uh, a good, good year. Really? Yeah. So you lived with it completely on your own for yeah. a year? Yeah. And what was that year like? Nightmare. I mean, I've always loved music, but I would have never dreamt in a million years I would broadcast live with somebody that, you know, knows how to do it and, and can hopefully help teach me a bit. And uh, 